This is the new joint one on the new Strider. It has a spindle that screws into the back of this clamp. And if you see any threads showing up between the base of this clamp and the crossbar, we need to tighten the spindle up into this. I'll show you a real easy way to do that. We're going to loosen these four compression screws. We're going to slide this whole piece out, but before we do that, we have to take off joint two down here. So you need a six millimeter wrench, and you need a 17 millimeter wrench. Loosen this, take this off, lower this down and let it sit on, on a rag. Now we're going to take a two and a half millimeter wrench up here. We're going to loosen these screws. You don't have to take them all the way out, just loosen them enough so that they show at the top. There's two more over here on this side. Okay, we're going to take an eight millimeter wrench. Now we're going to pull this out and now you can see the spindle that has to be screwed in here. We're going to rest the tip of this down on the rag and we're going to tighten this up. Make it good and tight, as hard as you want to get it, <clears throat> okay? Now, we're going to put this space here, the compression slot, we're going to put that in, be in between these four compression screws, just like that. We're going to slide it back in, all the way. We're going to take the two millimeter, two and a half millimeter wrench again, we're going to tighten up these compression screws. Just as they start getting snug, like that. And we're going to see if this moves back and forth rather easy, and if it does, we're going to tighten them just a little bit more, about a quarter turn, until it starts feeling a little bit resistance. Okay, right there. That's pretty good. Now we're going to reattach joint two down here. Gonna lift this up, line up the holes, put this in, line up the holes, put this in, put the washer back on. Not back on, use your six millimeter wrench and 17 millimeter wrench. Tighten this around until it stops. All done.